to WrestleFest 6. I'm Todd Dale, the best in the business, here with my companions, Braden Daniels. Bobby Files! Little Bobby, why are you wearing sunglasses? They're transitionings! I think you mean transitions. Okay, I got something I gotta I got tell you. Okay, wait, real quick. We gotta get to it. The pre-show is really quick this I think year. You of course, listen to, to, to budgeting and you know, obviously you want to scale things back and just get right to the action. Is that a height we joke? Just, we just want no, it's not a height joke. I'm trying to be professional scale here, Bob. Scale back. Okay, Robert. So what we have here is a, some great matches for you today. We have the Sons of Darkness making their reign. Yes, you know, pretty Sons ominous and, and, yes. and evident here as we get started. Yes, I, I still I, I think I he's have a, something he has to tell something you. he needs to say, okay, Todd. <laughs> Okay, sir. Sons of Darkness. Sons yeah, of Darkness. Yeah, yes, yeah. we have. We, Can I show you now? No, we have to get to the matches first. So we have the hardcore match. Ryan Phillips takes on the world. He is literally going to fight the whole locker. I'm excited. I got chills, and they're multiplying by the minute. Man, I. Can I? I really got to show you something. Okay, we're kind of uh, cutting into our time here. Okay, what, what, what is very important? What is um, I. I that's six. I don't know how to break this to you. I've got some something I need to show you here. Touch it's me. It's okay. Six feet, body. I, there's something I need to show you on this this video right here. It, it has to do with Tammy, and I I, I apologize. Uh, it's, it's very personal. We probably God, shouldn't be doing this. We're here for you. That's not Tammy. That's, that's right Tammy. There. That's Tammy. That's Tammy, and who's that? Who's that other guy? Wait a minute, that's my car. Who's that guy? She's not. Who's driving? That's Chainsaw Kelly. Why is he driving? Oh my God! What is? Why is she touching him? I told you I had to show you something. God, we're sorry. This, I, I know this is probably not how you wanted to find out right here as we're kicking off the, the biggest show of the year, but... Todd, I, you... Todd, what are you doing? I don't think you smoke, Todd. Oh, oh my God. That's it. Where, what are we're going to have to cut this short, folks. Where are you going? We're, we're starting the show right now. Right now! What do you mean we're starting right I'm now? I'm going down to the ring, what are you and I'm calling that Todd? piece of shit no, to get out my wife! It's probably that, not a good idea. I'm going down right now. Tell the big man... Screw the free show. Let's do the real show. I'm going out there right now. Todd. Todd. Oh, boy. You just had to do it now. He, you he had to do it to now. You couldn't wait until after the show. He had to know. I guess so. Well, uh, Braden Daniels and Bobby uh, <laughs> signing off for now. Welcome to WrestleFest 6. This is your host, Jerry Ross. Many people thought WrestleFest 6 might not happen, but here we are. WrestleFest 6 is just about to get underway, and as you just, just saw backstage, my good friend Todd Dale just got some bad news, and I, I'm going to advise Todd not to come out here, just because this is not what he, what he should be doing. He should be concentrating on work first, and... I know he's got some history with Tammy, and it seems that she has done some unspeakable acts with another wrestler here, and I just hope that Todd uh, is not... Okay, oh, here comes Todd Dale now. Come on, Todd. Making his way down to the ring, here to introduce WrestleFest 6, Todd Dale! It's Todd Dale, bitch. Now, a 
personally, I love a good friend of Todd. I hope he. Here it comes, Todd Dale. It, I hope he can it, keep, it, it, keep it cool. Let's see what music. he has to say here. I'm sick and tired of the lies that have been happening with my family. I'm sorry, Phil McMahon, the show has to start this way, but I want Philip Chainsaw Kelly to get his ass out here. I got some things I want to say to him right now. Uh, get Todd Dale now calling out Philip Chainsaw Kelly. Let's to be in that video we've heard about. We have yet to see this video. I hope we never do. I saw you in the. I don't want this on it. I saw you in the car with Tammy. Going to McDonald's, getting the Travis Scott meal. Look at his body. I don't go to McDonald's. That wasn't me. I saw you. I had it on videotape. I saw you on the car. That was not me. Who do you think you are? I got a better wrestling record than you. I'm better man than you. Better father than you. You telling me you weren't the guy in the car? No. No. I'm gonna get to the bottom of this, and I'll tell you what. Yeah. If, if, get if, right if, to if, the if, bottom. If, yeah, if it is me. you, it it's gonna be hell to pay. I am not a wuss. Okay. Oh, good. oh my God! He's attacked. He's attacked, Todd. Ah, was me. Ah, oh, he's just admitted to the crime. Damn it, Terry. Despicable, folks. Oh, Unbelievable. This is absolutely oh, sickening. Like that, huh? McDonald's is a oh, partner of the oh, IWA, and I can't God. believe he's oh, traded McDonald's oh, and Todd Dale. Like Janelle Jack Devin, who hasn't been seen since WrestleFest 4, and I can't do he is, I can't believe it! Is he gonna help Todd? It looks like he is! And he's balling with Philip Chase on Kelly back and forth! Oh, Throws him right to the ground! Stomping him right out! Hits him with that microphone a couple times, three, four times! He's helping Todd Dale up. Uh, what a turn of events. Uh, Todd Dale getting a punch like in. That. You want to pick on my buddy here? You're going to have hell to pay. Uh, it's been Todd Dale. Let's start the show. Thanks. And Janera Jack Devin. It's Todd Dale, bitch. Saves the day. My name's Rome. Three, two, three, two. Last year, we laid down our roots and grew our family. This year, we take over. The chosen one will lead the way. Judgment Day is coming. And with that, so does darkness fall on the IWA. You have been warned. Run, run. My, my, three, two, my name's Roman Steens. Let me do this again. My name, my name is Roman Steens. My name is Roman Steens. And this is my year. I, in the past, maybe I have lost to uh, women. Maybe I, maybe I went to go uh, hit, a, hit a woman and she knocked me out and she beat me in a match. That was all over four years ago. I'm a competitor, I'm ready, Todd, I see you there. I just, I'm just finishing up. Roman, Roman, I need to, I need to speak with you. Live, live interview. It's the first time I've been interviewed. Yeah, both. But can you step back a little bit, please? What's going on here? Roman, up. I've just been sent by Phil McMahon. You have tested positive for the virus, and you need to leave the premises immediately. I, I, I don't please have any symptoms. I don't understand. It's, everyone got tested, and uh, yours... I'm fine. I'm yours, <laughs> you, you may be asymptomatic. We just can't take any chances. Please don't grab your things. And uh, This please, is my life, Tom. Please, please, please eat the... Yes. Please leave the building. It's Todd Dale. That's the best six. And here we are, first matchup of the night, women's world title match, Miss Fortune, against an open up challenge opponent. I'm not so sure who she's gonna be fighting. This here, next folks. matchup We're is scheduled for one fall, and it is for the women's world championship. Introducing first, the champion, from the Bad Luck Club, accompanied down to the ring by Robert Keenan, Miss Fortune! As Miss Fortune is making her way down the ring with her manager Robert Keenan, now Big Red cannot compete, not because of coronavirus, but because she's injured. So it's going to be interesting to see who's going to be answering this open challenge as we bring it down to Robert Tienan, who's sporting a new look here, it seems. My name is Robert Tienan. 
I am the greatest manager of all time. And this right here, this is Miss Fortune, the IWA Women's Champion. But guess what? There are no women here for Miss Fortune to fight. So we do our right here right now at WrestleFest 6, we're gonna do an open challenge. To anybody out there that wants to come out here, and I think, and Miss Fortune, it says that she wants to make this match a no disqualification, no holds barred match. So come on. Uh, is any guys out there want to face Miss Fortune and shot at the women's world title? What an interesting turn of events here. Seems like an open challenge in lieu of Big Red not being here this year. And looks like we have a wrestle hit. It's Mike Hunt coming down to shine by the newsboys. Not sure if I picked that as my entrance music, but. Shout out to all those 90s Christian kids out there, I guess. Looks like we got a match. First match of the night here, and it should be a barn burner here. Miss Fortune taking on a male opponent, and my god, oh my god, she just hit my guy with a title right in the face. No disqualification. It's a no DQ, no disqualification. She's just getting this match started. A nice elbow right down the top of his head here, as this match is underway. And she throws him back right into the ring. Like Miss Fortune here with a couple right hand hooks, right hand hooks. Throws Mike into the ropes. Oh, ducks his clothesline, runs into the ropes herself. Oh, tries to knock him over. He's a little bit stronger than what she's used to. Oh, a nice shot. She runs into the ropes. Oh, nice kick to the side there. Knocks him right down the ghost. Goes to the pin. One, two. And a two count on Miss Fortune there. Well, Bettina advocating for Miss Fortune. It was a three count. I don't think so, but there we go. Oh, a couple shots, right handed shots to his head. Picks him up. Picks her up, excuse me. Gives him a gives her a body slam. This is one of his only offensive moves so far. What's going on here? Mike claims that this is surge, a nice suplex on Miss Fort by on Miss Fortune by Mike here goes to the pin. Give a first lens from a champion. No. A two count. Miss Fortune says, hell no. Couple right handed shots here to Miss Fortune up by Mike. Throws her into the corner. Oh, not a lot of offense from Mike here. Oh, turns it into a stunner, Miss Fortune. Oh, oh. He ain't got nothing. Change your Tommy gun, huh, Robert? Shades of Tommy Gunn is right. And Miss Fortune looks, oh, like follows it up with a kick to the side of his head. She is beating him to hell here. She's definitely in control of this match. Only catches the kick. Turns it around. Oh, nice knockdown of the punch. Four on Shiro right to the head. Knocked his socks right off. You see that? You see that? Knocked his socks right off. That's true. Miss Fortune in a rage here. Right? She's a get him in the chair, those vicious shots right to the back. Get out, Robert. Hey, no, I'll do what I want. I get the ring if I want. What do you say, Mike? Robert Tina talking trash. Oh, Mike Hunter says that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. Miss Fortune's retained the belt, and just like that, this match is over. That's all you gotta do. Well, I don't think Robert even team even knows it's over yet. He's got nothing. He's got nothing left to take. Oh. And Miss Fortune has retained her title. Did I win? And what an impressive victory <laughs> for Miss Fortune here against Mike Hunt taking on a man. Piece of garbage out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Not worthy of being a women's champion. You just beat a man. And what a great start to WrestleFest here. Miss Fortune and the Bad Luck Club. Everything coming up, Roses. Coming up next, we have a commercial from Bobby Files. Thank you for the Bad Luck Club tonight. IWA, you're on notice.
Hey, this is Bobby with the Bobby Files here reporting for the IWA, telling you you should buy some t-shirts, storefrontier.com, uh, Canadian Dutch Boys. Um, as, as you can see, there's so many wonderful shirts here. Look, we got some Jason Kelly fans, some Body in the Buddha, a WrestleFest I Wasn't There shirt for all you people that weren't there because they had no fans. And right now, exclusively, the WrestleFest shirt is on sale, $16.00. All proceeds go to help these wonderful guys out. Storefrontier.com slash Canadian Dutch Boys. The link's underneath what I'm talking about right now. And it's going to be a link in the YouTube video. Be sure to check it out. It's been Bobby. Welcome back to WrestleFest 6. This is Todd Dale. Joining me now, the premiere. First of all, sorry about my appearance. It's been a rough, rough day. The Sons of Darkness has promised your downfall. How do you respond? I don't know. They're, I mean, what response do you need? They, you can promise everything you want to promise, but at the end of the day, the three of us are standing here with all the gold. We took over this company as a group collectively. So I'm not really worried about that. Yeah, it wasn't really hard either, to be honest with you. It only took us one paper to do it. My answer would be no. I'll go with that answer. <laughs> okay, the Supreme Leader has said one of the Premier members will turn on the others, leading to the fall of the Premier. Are you guys worried? Are you still together as one? I'm not worried. I, I was not worried before, but now I'm worried. I'm like, Supreme Look. Leader, what is it, Star Wars? <laughs> Let me, let, me, God. let me tell you this. Silk? This shirt says Premier vs. Everybody for a reason, all right? We're not worried about Supreme Leader. We're not worried about Sons of Darkness. And try everything they want to try. But at the end of the day, the Premier is going to stand tall, just like we always do. We'll stand tall till there's no beer left standing, nobody left to fight. Well, unfortunately, there's not much beer left. Oh, what was the question? I don't know. I love Star Wars. Tammy left Star Wars too. Uh, who do you guys think the Supreme Leader is? Well, uh, probably a cross between Smolsky and uh, Rubik's Cube or uh, somebody, I don't know. Who do you think it is? Uh, Maybe Tienan? I don't know. I, I have no idea. I don't know Tienan that well. Listen, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter who the Supreme Leader is. We can sit here and we can guess. The guy's been hiding behind his little group this whole time. Obviously, he doesn't want to show face, and that's fine. And I get it. Why would you when you're looking at this down, you know? So I, I, I don't have an answer who I think it is, because I, quite frankly, I don't, I don't really care. I don't give a shit. I'll tell you what, the Supreme Chancellor, whatever he wants to call himself, worried about one of us turned on each other. I turned on him in 88. He turned on me in 90. We all turned on each other in 98. We keep kicking each other's ass over and over again for 20 years. I have no interest in doing it anymore, frankly. So I, uh, I ain't turning on either of them. You know, I would tell him if I was going to, but I ain't worried about that. I ain't worried about no Supreme Leader. He needs to sit his back, his back and his ass back down in a smoky chair. Maybe he needs a couple beers and chill the hell out. Here we go. You don't, are you you're you all right, Todd? I, I thank, thank you for asking. I'm, I'm fine. It's been a rough day, but uh, we'll get through it. Thank you for joining us, ladies and gentlemen, the premiere. Yes, yes, thank you, sir. And my clients are going to be just fine with the agreement as well. We'll definitely hold up to our end of the bargain. <clears throat> Excuse me. Did you not hear our master's warning? Oh, time for this bullshit. They will betray you. They're gonna take your title. Who? Detroit's native son. Hardcore, the most active, committed, or strict members of a group or movement. Extreme, unpredictable, savage. Violent. 
brutal. Legit again. This, WrestleFest 6, IWA Hardcore Champion Ryan Phillips looks to cement his legacy and take on his hardest challenge yet. The real question is, will he be ready? This year, he takes on the locker room. Ryan Phillips versus The Locker Room. Thank you. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with Ryan Phillips, the hardcore champion. Thank you for joining me. Thanks for having me. Ryan Phillips versus The World. What does that mean? What's going to happen here? Well, this match is going to be like uh, any other match we've had in the IWA. It's going to be an elimination style match. Um, every competitor is going to have a chance to win the hardcore belt. Last man standing, basically, is going to be the hardcore champion. Elimination by TKO, submission, or pinfall. So, by anyone, it could be anyone. Yes. I'm, I'm just kidding. I don't. I don't. Oh, I don't. You, oh so you were going to. I'm, I'm, I'm retired. I, I've had, you know, there's only one man I'm, I want to fight. But I'm sorry. Uh, so, what's your strategy going in with that? I mean. Who are you looking to? Do you have any weapons in mind? Do you have anything you want to share? I'm not going to share any like secrets or any weapons I'm going to bring down to the ring because I'm, I'm definitely going to be prepared for this match, obviously. But um, I will say this: um, again, they just better watch out because um, I, I, I don't have intentions of losing this title. And um, what I say there's been some ominous words spoken by the Sons of Darkness, this strange group that has bound it together. Are you concerned about them coming into the match? No, not at all. I mean. Well, they got a couple guys that you know aren't, aren't as good as us. I mean, why, why, why? Did they, I'm not concerned. They got the chain gang. They got a couple guys. Uh, the chain gang are insane. They're guys that are from insane asylum. They probably should be locked. They up. might be fighting each other if they're in the match. I mean, uh, I've seen that's, that they they do that. They're, they're very strange. I'm not really really worried about those guys. I mean, they can't even put two and two together. Why would I be worried about those guys? Right? Okay, uh, Ryan Phillips. Thank you very much. Thank and, you. Uh, on to the hardcore match. Coming up next, we got the Hardcore Championship. Ryan Phillips, the Hardcore Champion, is going against the Locker Room. This next match is for the Hardcore Title. In this match, you can be eliminated by pinfall, submission, or TKO. The last man standing will be the Hardcore Champion. Introducing first, the Hardcore Champion, Ryan Phillips! And here comes Ryan Phillips of the Premier, the Hardcore Champion, down the ring. Former IWA Heavyweight Champion, two times, as a matter of fact. He's never won the Intercontinental Belt. That's one now on the Hardcore Belt. This is going to be an interesting match. We'll see if Ryan Phillips can retain his championship. It's going to be tough. He's going to have to beat a lot of different wrestlers in this match. We'll see how many will come down to the ring. I believe three other competitors will start this match. And then as others are eliminated, other ones will join. We'll see who's up first. Coming down to the ring next. A former hardcore champion who doesn't want you to forget it, Mr. Rubik's Cube! And there comes little Ruby. I'm coming back for my title, Larry. Down to the ring, You're former hardcore champion. champion. Where'd he go? I want the title back. Over there. Yeah, that's cool. Goodbye. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Turn your back. Yeah. I'm afraid of you, Big Bad Phillips, huh? That's right. Yeah, okay. That's right. Okay, we'll mm -hmm. see about that. Yep. Nice These two are getting a quick, quick exchange you here. Up? That's actually really cool. Well, Joke glasses? Yeah. I don't know if we're gonna fall for it. Get out of here. Ryan Phillips too smart to fall for the trick glasses. More like broke glasses, right, little Ruby? I shouldn't be so mean to Ruby, former hardcore champion. Respect in his own right. It's one of those title wrestlers that people either love or hate him. Little Ruby looks like Ryan Phillips is 
taunting him here. Ooh, goodness gracious, the sound of that, that, that bad, that vicious shots there. If I was a little Ruby, I'd be careful not to cross the hardcore champion. Hailing from Las Vegas, Nevada, Mean Mark Calloway! And here comes Mean Mark Calloway, another wrestler who has wrestled at every single WrestleFest. Was actually part of the main event in WrestleFest 1. And now looking to climb back into his former glory in this hardcore championship match. As little Ruby and Ryan Phillips going back and forth. Little Ruby wants that bell. Ryan Phillips now takes it. Wow, this is a WrestleFest of returns. Coming down in the ring is a guy that hasn't wrestled since WrestleFest 4. Jock Anderson. Making his way down to the ring. Oh, and here we go. A veteran of sorts. More of a partier than a wrestler, I'd say. If you hear that can open, I'm pretty sure that's Joe opening a beer, and it is. my man, Prince Hector, for loaning me his shirt. He said Prince on an old Death Club shirt. Definitely just thrown out by Hector that he obviously picked up. Joe, a respectable man, probably shouldn't be smoking before the match. Does not bode well for him in his matchup, let me tell you that, folks. Right now, you gotta take these matches and opportunities seriously if you want to be a champion. Especially a hardcore champion. One of the hardest belts to win and keep. And here we go, this match is about to be underway here. These wrestlers are sort of looking around. Guys, guys, listen. As the hardcore expert, I got a great strategy. We take out the champ first, okay? Everybody on board? Let's get the champ. No, I got the champ. He's the champ. No, come on. No, no, they'll circle Ryan Phillips. They're all after him. Going after him. I can't see underneath him. I'm not sure where he is. But, oh, Ryan Phillips saw him stuck out, hits him in the back with a bat. Oh, four guys, and they're all down on the man. What an impressive start from the hardcore champion. Picks up Joe. Throws a cigarette out of his hand. That's probably a bad, best idea because of the ring. It's like a Zeppelin. It'll explode if it's caught fire. Throws him into the ropes. Pop up power by Ryan Phillips. Oh my god, Joe's cut up. That's it. Two, three, and Joe has been eliminated from this match. Joe has been eliminated. We'll see who replaces Joe in this match as Ryan Phillips rolls out to the ring. Doc Anderson goes after little Ruby. Ooh, a nice chair shot to the back to me, Mark Calloway, Ryan Phillips. We're going to go back to the well. Oh, my God. What a nice shot to the rib cage. And again by Ryan Phillips. Now going in for the choke on me, Mark Calloway. Ryan Phillips now in control of me, Mark Calloway. Is little Ruby just got assaulted in the back. And now seesaw action on little Ruby's back. Oh my God! He shut the vicious! Yeah, again. Ryan right, Phillips. Again, yeah. Looks again. like he's thinking of something. What a smart competitor. Sorry, Q. Using it as a team up type of thing and then turning on him. And this isn't a team match, it's an individual match. Oh, and a nice right hand hook sends Doc Anderson back to the side. And a, oh my God, what a knee strike right to his face. Ryan Phillips, hardcore champion, showing why he's a hardcore champion. Little Ruby, not looking so good. Ryan Phillips rolls him, Doc Anderson into the ring. Ooh, a nice kick to the side. Ryan Phillips with his shot. One, two, oh, it's a two count. And he kicks out. Ryan Phillips frustrated. Ooh, Doc Anderson turning it around here with some offenses of his own. Ooh, little Ruby knocked right off the apron by Mean Mark Calloway. Like a bad habit. Oh, one count broken up by Mean Mark Calloway. 
Mima Kalua jumps, jumps right through the ring. Doc Anderson what missed him. I mean, should I say Doc oh. Anderson moved out of the way and he missed Doc. That camera's going over there. And a nice forearm shot by Ryan Phillips to the face of Doc Anderson here. Sorry. Nope. Throws her into the ropes. Pop up, power bomb of his own. One broken up by me, Mark Kelly. I'm not sure why he had to break it up. One, two, three. Oh. And is now hit in the back by little Ruby. Finally getting up after being hit himself. And he's just hit again with a chair, knocked off the apron right down on the mat. Should I say grass? There's a lot of action in this match, folks. I'm trying to call it the best I see it. As me, Mark Calloway gets out of the ring here. Looks like Turner's a detention. Oh, right to the back of Little Ruby. Little Ruby has not had much offense at all. Oh my God, those kendo sticks! Right to, oh my God, you hear him? Just rakes him right across the rib and now punches Little Ruby right in the face. Huh? You gonna go with the hardcore title, huh? Ryan Phillips talking trash, yet still in control of this match. This is one of the most impressive hardcore defenses I've ever seen in the IWA, folks. And that's not me sucking his oh. He's trying to make a comeback of his own, pummeling Ryan Phillips in the back here. Gets a weapon of his own. Gonna hit Ryan Phillips, Ryan Phillips blocks it. Little Ruby, oh nice kick. Kicks Ryan Phillips down. Hits me by Kelly in the back with that baseball bat. Oh, and just continues now with control of this match as James Janitor Ballard, oh, is now in this match replacing Joe. Goes to the pin, one, two, two, ah, two count. Always go after the strongest one, that's what my dad always said. He's referring to his father, Janitor John Janitor. Middle Ruby taking exception to that. Ooh, as we have another wrestler here, I'm not sure who that is, I can't see him from here. That might be Rusty Jones, I'm not sure. Or, not sure folks. But anyway, nice double knee by Ryan Phillips there, taking up both those guys, what a nice maneuver. I have respect for your dad. You? Not so much. Oh, throws him right into the ring there. James Janet Ballard. Ryan Phillips now in control here. He picks up that bat he had in the beginning. Oh! God One, almighty! Two, and that's a three count, and me and Mark Calloway has best been eliminated. One! And a one count on James Janitor Ballard. I'm not sure if he's awake. He's still, I can't believe he's moving after that bat shot to the head. I can't believe it, folks. Oh, Ryan Phillips with a super kick that pushes that chair right into his face. James Jenner Ballard not boating well in this hardcore match. I'm sure he's doing his father proud. Oh my god, Ryan Phillips just knocked him out and that's a TKO. Just like that, his match in the hardcore is over as Ryan Phillips, oh my god, look at that knee strike. Jumped right to his head and a knee strike right to the head. That's Xander Kane, former number one contender. It's now sporting some new pants, it looks like. And using that crutch to attack Ryan Phillips right in the midsection as he crawls away. And I believe that's Doc Anderson there. Or it could be Rusty Jones. I'm sorry to say they look a little bit alike. Those rapid knee strikes. Xander Kane, one, two, oh! A two count. Rusty Jones or Doc Anderson says no thanks. We go split screen here, folks, and keep keep the action here. We got Ryan Phillips and Ruby on the left, and oh, a low blow on the right hand side. But it looks like left hand side, Ryan Phillips is gonna throw Ruby through those chairs. Oh my God! Poor little Ruby. Little Ruby just. Dissected through those chairs, folks. Ryan Phillips, oh my god! What a savage! He just threw that barrel of objects right at 
fill up Chainsaw Kelly's head. Oh my God, that strike right to Xander Cage's back. And that was his striking Doc Anderson on the side or Rusty Jones. And a knee to the face on the right-hand side as little Ruby is, doesn't know where he is. One, two, three. And he's been eliminated, whoever he was, folks. Xander Kane still in this match. Ryan Phillips trying to try to get away. Xander Kane catches up with him. Oh, little Ruby thought he won. No, little Ruby. And he's going to get pinned here. One, two. Oh, it kicks out. Little Ruby still in this match. Xander Kane frustrated. Now it turns his attention to Ryan Phillips. A shot in the back. Xander Kane. Looks like he's trying to control this match here. I don't know what he's got a spoon or something. Is Ryan Phillips in the back? I don't know if I'd pick that object. Looks like he's bottom of the barrel here, literally. Ryan Phillips goes to Xander Kane, gives a couple punches, writes. Little Ruby getting a chair here. Hey, Phillips! Little Ruby! Phillips ducks out of the way, hits Xander Kane right in the head! Xander Kane is down on the ground! Ruby goes to the pin anyway. One, two, three. Appears to be down to Ryan Phillips and little Ruby. And there was two. Looks like it's me and you, huh? You want to go mano a mano, huh? Come on. Can I have that one? I'm going to switch. I don't trust you. Put it down. No, I wasn't going to. You were gonna hold it. Little Ruby gonna anything. turn on Ryan Phillips. Not a good idea. He hits him anyway. Good little. Nice. Yeah. See, that's why they call me Mr. Rubik's Cube. Oh. That's why they call me Ryan Phillips. And what exchange there, folks? I didn't want to say anything and jump all over it, but Ryan Phillips and Little Ruby. Now Ryan Phillips choking Little Ruby, saying he hates clowns. I'm not sure Mr. Rubik's Cube is a clown, but. This match has turned into an interesting match here, folks. I'm not sure it's a one-on-one, -on -one, I guess. I'm Little Ruby. I'm Little Ruby. I'm in Hardcore Jam here. Where am I? I'm Little Ruby. I'm your long lost brother. Ruby. Ah. Ryan Phillips ah. mocking ah. Little Ruby here. Ah. 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 You want the Hardcore Belt? Ryan Phillips throws him into the ring. Looks like Ryan Phillips is definitely taking this match personal. Hey, wait a second, it's my necklace. Oh. Ooh, hits him right off. And little Ruby looks to take control of this match. It's my necklace. Ryan Phillips just says it's his necklace as he gets suplexed by little Ruby. Nice little suplex. It's bringing me pain. Now it takes the necklace off, saying it's bringing me pain. One, two. Little that Ruby so that close good. to being a hardcore champion yet again. I believe his third or fourth time. A lot of people don't remember. He is a good competitor and definitely a wrestler that is worthy of some challenge. Ooh, rights and lefts back and forth here between Little Ruby and Ryan Phillips. A couple chops. Another chop. Chops back Come and on. forth. Hardcore. Little Ruby again. Now a slap that's just slapping Ryan Phillips right down. Oh. Oh. oh man, this guy. He knows how to fight. I give him that. This has been a good matchup all around. Been a very long matchup. Whoever wins this matchup will definitely be your new hardcore champion. I've seen any bigger. Pop up power bomb! This could do it, folks! Oh my god! Jack knifed him! Two! Three! And that's it, folks. Ryan Phillips appears to be our hardcore champion, unless there's any other wrestlers, but I would assume they would have been down here by now. So congratulations to Ryan Phillips on keeping his hardcore title. But also, you got to give it up to Little Ruby. Looks like Ryan Phillips is calling out some more wrestlers. I don't know if he should do that. He looks to be exhausted, folks. Oh my god, I think I know what that is. I think that's the Sons of Darkness music. It is, folks. So it appears that they're getting involved in this match somehow. As we await their arrival. 
I wants to rush, I see. There's two of them. This is gonna effectively be a two-on-one match, and I don't think they're here for the hardcore belt. They're just here for Ryan Phillips, it looks like. As they're just pummeling Ryan Phillips down, Ryan Phillips trying to fight him off. They got him down to the ground. Kicking, they got him with a bat. There's not much Ryan Phillips is gonna be able to do about this. And oh, here comes the premier! It's Tommy Garning! Craig back coming down to help Ryan Phillips! Fighting off the Sons of Darkness members! Fighting the right off! Tommy got fighting, fighting this unmasked guy. I'm not sure who these guys are. Fights him right back through the curtain. Looks like Craig Labatt's got the other guy on the other side. Ryan Phillips trying to recuperate here. And oh my god, hateful Reed! Right in the back! Looks like it just knocked Ryan Phillips right out! Oh my god, he hits Craig Labatt right in the back! I don't know what the hell's going on here! As it's just dragging him over. I don't understand. Craig Labatt's not in this matchup. He's just throwing him on top of him. I, I, I don't understand what's going on here, folks. And then... What in, the, what in the world has happened here, folks? This is not right. Craig the Bat was not in this matchup. Came down to help Ryan Phillips. Now he is awarded the hardcore belt because he was put on top of him for more than three seconds. I, I didn't even count the three. I didn't even think it was a pinball. Let's see if we can find out what they did. Go down to ringside here, folks. Why, why am I not taping? I didn't see the damn thing. I Let's swear, it not. was not me. And I cracked over the head. Next thing I, I know, I'm coming too when they're I announcing the me as the I didn't see it. I didn't see who came out. I didn't I do anything. This guy, he just beat me for my own title. I didn't. It was not me. Phillips, I'm telling you. Let's go. I don't. Phillips, come on. Phillips. This on, isn't man. good, Are folks. And this is what the I Sons of Darkness said would happen, would happen, but. The, 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 Hateful Reed was the one that hit him in the back and put him on. It wasn't even in the match, and somehow it's a... I don't know, folks. We'll go backstage to figure this out. Unbelievable. I can't believe it. They said, they said this was going to happen, and it fucking happened. Listen, man. Where are you going? Listen, that wasn't us. I don't, I don't know what to tell you. That you know wasn't you guys us. can say it's not us, not you guys, but guess what? I, I just the Sons of Darkness will, stopped me in the hallway and they told me that this was going to happen. I'm out of here. Listen, I'm, I'm out. Believe I'll, I'm lay out. Down. I'm I'll lay down I'm right out. now. You can let take let it back. Go. Let them go. We'll, we'll be all right. We'll be fine. Just worry about what you got to do. Don't worry about those Sons of Darkness people. They're just getting in your head, man. Don't worry about it. Drink another beer. You're fine. Phillips. Look, man, I'm not in the mood to sign autographs. I sign a lot, I sign a lot of autographs lately. I'm not. What the hell are you doing here? Listen, man, I'm back. All right. I see that. Everything is not what it seems around here. Okay, and I'm trying to make it right. All right, man. I, look, I don't have time for this. Man. I, I'm, I'm leaving. All right. So all right, man. Just, good see to see you. Later. Yeah, man. Good seeing you too. Jeepers, this guy. This fucking now. Welcome. Now that the tribulation has started, and the infection begins to spread, it's time for us to reap the harvest, and achieve a great reward. The fall of the premiere. You know what to do. Welcome back to WrestleFest 6, this is Todd Dale. It's been a hell of a day. Um, right outside the Body and the Buddha's locker room as they get ready to defend their tag team titles for the first time. Let me get in there and try and get an exclusive interview. Todd Dale. Baku Buddha! Come on, Buddha, do it! Do it! Oh Come on! Oh Look at it! Look at it! Look at it! Uh, we're going to skip that for now. Um, Jerry Ross, back to you. 
the more things change. New Tag Team Champions, the body and the boot of the first time ever in the IWA, they are Tag Team Champions. The more they stay the same. The Carnival Nightmares, what's going through their head? They, they, re they rejected the offer to join the Sons of Darkness and maybe that would have been the best bet for them. This WrestleFest 6, the IWA Tag Team Champions, the Body and the Buddha, take on Carnival Nightmares for the IWA Tag Team Titles. Now that Carnival Nightmares has joined the Sons of Darkness, how will the body and the Buddha withstand the darkness? said before, I'm not going to ask him. Ryan Phillips has left the building and uh, it seems has left the premiere, at least for now, until he finds out about Hateful Reed. And he was also stopped by generic Jack Devitt with a weird exchange and the Sons of Darkness with the promises to fall from here. But now we have the tag team match, folks. Carnival Nightmares, Sons of Darkness members versus the champions, the body this and the Buddha. This matchup is for the tag team titles. It is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, the challengers. Coming from the dark recesses of your mind. As we wait, Carnival Nightmares, let's not forget last year they were tag team champions. And then they lost them to the Body and the Buddha, but now they have joined the Sons of Darkness. And you can't help but wonder what kind of advantage that's going to be for them going forward here. Is there any way they lose these belts? Or should I say, lose this match? Some people say no, and the power of the Sons of Darkness is going to overtake the body of the Buddha in this match, or maybe numbers game, but we'll see here. As they make their way down to the ring, one of the creepiest tag teams of all time. I saw them backstage, and his guy was literally crawling on the ground like this, going to the catering table, and I thought that was disturbing. Well, anyway, here they're going off against the body of the Buddha, trying to regain their tag team champions. They lost championship they lost last year at WrestleFest 5. Should be an interesting matchup. See if they can become a two-time IWA Tag Team Champions. This tag team kind of came out of nowhere two years ago at WrestleFest 4. And now they seem to be one of the premier tag teams of the IWA. Introducing the champions. All the way from Oaks, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 840 pounds, the body and the Buddha! And your new tag, I should say, new tag team champions, the body and the Buddha! The Buddha sporting that new IWA t shirt. From storefrontier.com slash Canadian Dutch Boys. Go check them out, they're on sale. As you see here, the the Buddha, the Buddha, the Buddha is the one that sings the song, and he probably shouldn't have done that. Now he's out of breath here, folks. The match hasn't even started yet. Doesn't bode well for the body of the Buddha. I need a breather. 
As the body's going to start first, the Buddha says he needs a breather. In this match, he's just about to be underway. I believe the rest got to get the belts away. He's got to check both opponents. Make sure that there's no uh, objects and that sort of thing. This matchup's been brewing. Oh, these are just muscles. These are just muscles. Oh, Washboard. Washboard. He's fine. You don't, you don't gotta check him. He's fine. And the ref doesn't yeah, check him. That's not probably a good idea. As this match is underway. The body ducks the clothesline. Hey, hey, get back. And they lock up. Ooh. Just want to fight, or they want to just hang out. They lock up again here. The, the body throws them back that's into the corner. It, that's it. Throws them into the uh, ropes to the ringside here. Close lines them. The body flexes. That's pretty normal for the body. As the body of the Buddha can now control this match, more specifically the body. Oh. Throws him into the ropes. He's got a close line of his own. Not sure if this is nightmares or carnival. I think Come it's on. nightmares. Come on, buddy. nightmares with a nice elbow. Come on, buddy. You, but you can withstand it. Tagging Strong in nice. carnival. Come on. Ooh, a kick to the midsection. Another kick to the midsection. That's three. Come that's on, four. That's five. Break it up, ref. He does. Long enough. As now nightmares controls this match. The nice arm bar there by carnival. Oh, he just throws him right off yeah. and tags in the body. I mean, the Buddha the fat <laughs> comes rolling in. I got ropes. Oh, come on. And I oh, believe he said about? a fat tag. Ropes. Come on, you get up. I've you. heard of fast tag. Not sure about a fat want. tag. <laughs> the Buddha says he's going to send him back to. Oh, my God. That had to collapse his lungs. He calls that the back shot. There's a nice headlock, and I don't think you can hear him underneath that mask. He says he's going to lean on him. He probably can't breathe. Get down. No, I don't think so. Get up. I've been learning some new moves. It's called the body slam. For my body, the body. And I don't think the body's the one that came up with that move. Oh, my God. That seems to have winded the Buddha. He tags in the body. We go for a double team here. Looks like gonna go for some sort of tag team maneuver here. Come on, do it, do it. Come on, quick. It's a sidewalk slam into a Buddha press. See if it goes. The ref needs to get control of this match up here. Nightmares was just sitting there waiting to get into the ring as soon as the pinfall was there. Trying to reach out, oh, almost got no, the no, tag, no. and he got it, the body couldn't stop him. He oh. seems to have lost his strength, I don't understand how or why. Oh, a nice back suplex there on Nightmares. Ooh, it turns that into an elbow. Come on, body. Goes to the pin, one, two, ah. a two count. The Buddha tried to stop the pinfall a little too late. Come on, body. Come on, body. Oh. The Buddha give her moral support. The body looks to be in a bad way. Couple hits to the midsection. Three or four. Picks him up, gets the tag. The Buddha comes rumbling into the ring. Just lands right on top of nightmares. The Buddha gets oh, hit from here. behind. The ref come needs to get control of this match. Has not had control since be at any point here. Oh. Or he's working for Sons of Darkness or not, but he needs his eyes need to be checked. Oh. 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 Couple shots here, these quick tags. Smart move by here in the Carnival Nightmares. The Buddha getting pummeled in the corner here. What's going on here? Oh, body! Calling up for the body, his tag team partner goes to the pin. One, ah! two. You got your the Buddha's there. still alive. Oh. The Buddha looking for help. Ah. Seems to can't find ah. any. Where the body he? seems to be recuperating on the ah. on the ring apron. 
turns into a nice DDT. This is the fastest I've seen the Buddha move. Reaching out, couldn't reach him. Nightmare is now on top of the body. Excuse me, the Buddha. As he hits the body right off the apron. Where is he? Where is he? He's looking for the tag. Nobody home. The Buddha is in a bad way. Carnival Nightmare seems to have him right. One. He's on the rope. He's got oh, the, oh my legs. god. Nice kick to the midsection. He's got a, a single crab there. And he gets him, throws him back. There's a boot, a body comes to rescue. Again, Carnival Nightmare breaks up the cover. There's a body, the boot hits him right out of the ring. This might be the opportunity oh. that Body the Buddha needed to DDT! This could turn it around if the Body could follow this up with another maneuver. That might be the end of the match. But he says he's winded. I don't know what's going on with the Body here. And he allows him to make the tag. What a terrible oversight on the Body. I don't know what's wrong with it. Oh, knocks him right into the boot and knocks him right off the apron. This could be the opportunity that Carnival Nightmares are setting him up for their doomsday. Oh, they kind of botched it a little bit, but they might have got it enough to make the pinfall here. The Buddha gets up. Oh my god, a knee to the face. The Buddha's knocked out. They're going for it again. They nail it. And this, we get a new tag team champions here. The Buddha's knocked out. I don't think this is going to. One, two, three, and we have new tag team champions. And Carnival Nightmares has just done it, folks. Love him or hate him, they did it the right way. The ref could have done a better job in the match, but other than that, there's not much the body of the Buddha could have done. There seems to be something wrong with the body. I'm not so sure. But you got to give it to Carnival Nightmares. They didn't cheat to win this match. They won it the right way, and Sons of Darkness has just won their first titles. At WrestleFest 6. And what is the future hope for the body and the Buddha here? Yep. We'll see. Hopefully they can regroup so and somehow... Come on. Somehow regain their former glory here as the new tag team champions! <laughs> Carnival Nightmares! You're going to have to wonder who's going to be the first challengers for the Tag Team Champions. It's going to be the Body of the Buddha. There aren't many other Tag Team Champions, possibly the Mechanics, but they have not been heard from in a very long time. Oh my God, it's too cold! And it's come from behind here, too cold. It's not employees of the IWA here, folks. They just attacked the Tag Team Champions. They've got a megaphone. We'll see what they have to say here. We're no longer in the IWA because we're no longer wanted. But guess what? We want our titles back anyway. And we are not going to stop until we get back our titles. So either reinstate us or this is going to keep on happening. Get him up, super kick party, baby. What well, big news, too cold. It's promising they're going to continue to attack Carnival Nightmares until they grant them a tag team match. Super kick party! Good God Almighty, what a return of events! Let's take it backstage to Todd Dale! Good God Almighty, they have to reinstate him, right? Phil McMahon! Ladies and gentlemen, here with Craig Labatt. Craig, um, with Phillips now gone, uh, how can you concentrate on this match? Listen, it's, it's, there's a lot going on in my mind right now, and I know, I know Phillips is gone, and, and I don't know what, what's going on in his mind. Listen, I don't even... This title is not. This title is important to me, but the, at the end of the day, the premiere is what's important to me. With Phillips gone, like there's a lot going through my mind, but I gotta get. I gotta get in a good headspace here. I gotta prepare for this match. And uh, from what I've heard, Scorpion's not even here. He might not be here, so I don't even know who the hell I'm facing. I have not heard that. I have not heard that. I've not seen him, but 
this is the second time you are facing Scorpion. How do you? What's the strategy going up against him? Listen, if, if it's Scorpion, and I, I've said this last year, and I'll say it again, I respect the hell out of Scorpion. We had an epic battle last year. The guy, he, he earned my respect. So if it is him, I look forward to another great match. Uh, if it's not him, I mean, I, I don't know. This is what I've been preparing for all year. So now to have a new strategy going against a new opponent, I don't know what to expect. And lastly, Craig, I mean, they've had their hand in everything so far. Are you concerned about the Sons of Darkness interfering in this match? Listen, I, I don't know what their whole strategy is, what their game plan is. And, and quite frankly, I'm getting sick of them. Uh, I don't think they're going to interfere. Uh, if they do, I know I, I got Gun here. He's around here somewhere still. Listen, Phillips is gone, and that's that, that sucks. I'm pissed about it. But the premiere is just as strong as it's ever been. We will get through this just like we'll get through anything else. Craig, thank you very much. Good luck. Thanks. Back to the match. Oh, f***. Wait till the Supreme Leader hears about this shit. What the f*** is that? Damn too cold, man. What the hell? You know? Yeah, right? I can't believe that. Oh, oh, what the? Oh, oh. Believe it now. Get him! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> ah, you want to accept our challenge now? Come on, let's go. Let's go. We gotta go. Too cold. Attack Heart of the Nightmares yet again. How many more times? Last year at WrestleFest 5. Craig Labatt of the Premier are going to be facing off against Scorpion, the Intercontinental Champion. And we'll see the first ever ladder match for the Intercontinental title. This match has just been downright brutal. Both Scorpion and Craig Labatt both want this title. Either one of these guys can win this match. And Craig Labatt has won the Intercontinental title. What a match! But Scorpion wants his revenge. This WrestleFest 6. This year, Scorpion looks to take back his title. And now that he's with the Sons of Darkness, there's nothing that will stand in his way. Just a legend. And the Sons of Darkness continue to promise the downfall of a premier. Coming up next, Intercontinental Championship, Scorpion versus Craig Labatt, the IWA this Intercontinental next Champ. Match is scheduled for one fall. Here we go. And it is for the Intercontinental Championship. Introducing first, the champion. Coming all the way from Detroit, and Mr. WrestleFest himself. Craig Labatt! And here comes premier member Craig Labatt, Detroit's favorite son, Intercontinental and now Hardcore Champion. He allegedly beat his friend Craig Labatt. And I was told backstage over the break in between the promos that since they did come down during the match, they entered themselves into the match, and therefore, when Craig was put on top of Ryan Phillips, there was a valid pinfall that I missed. And I apologize, folks. Anyway, here we go. Craig Labatt trying to defend his Intercontinental title against Scorpion. Now, I have not seen Scorpion backstage. That does not mean he's not here, folks. Come on, Scorpion. Where you at? Craig Labatt Scorpion, calling him out back, here. Buddy. I'm not so sure what we're waiting here for. Scorpion, I'm, let's go! I'm hearing some something in my ear here, folks. Looks like the match is has been changed. I'm not sure. 
I, I don't, I, I can't, I guess there's somebody coming no, down right now to explain here, folks. Robert Keenan! Robert Keenan, I'm not sure what he has to do with this match, but here we go, folks. Maybe he's got a message. Good God Almighty, a rematch of WrestleFest like 4 for the world title. Hey, Marie, this is Craig Labatt, folks. The monster's been unleashed. You're next. Uh, Scorpion's going to have to wait. I'm not sure why Scorpion's been sent home. I hope that's not true. But now we have Hateful Reed versus Craig Labatt. And this match should tear the house down. This has main event written all over it as they go face to face. And Hateful Reed attacks Craig Levesque from behind! So various punches! He's not gonna win, he wants a piece of Craig Levesque! Get him, Sumter Troy! Love him or hate him, Hateful Reed is a great wrestler who has been dominant in the IWA. We'll see if Craig Levesque can hold him off and retain his IWA and a Connell Championship as a nice a leg, uh, leg drop, sorry, drop kick. And a nice, looks like he's gonna set up for a nice kick to the midsection here. Really focusing on that rib cage. Tina told him to treat him like it. Show him what it means to be a champion. Pretty sure Craig knows how that what it what it means to be a champion. But here we go. This guy's going outside the ring. No holds barred in this match, folks. This guy's going toe to toe here. Exchanging lefts and rights. Hey, Fury just throws him right out of the apron. He eats healthy. Ooh, a nice elbow drop. And I don't know if he eats healthy or not, but he is definitely performing well in this match. But Craig Labatt has an answer for everything. Throws it right in that apron. Right in the corner. Oh, a nice knee to the chin. Send him back to WrestleFest 5 when he's fighting JJJ. Craig Labatt. Oh, a nice vicious shot by Craig Labatt. And another one. And another one. He knows what he has to do to... On, defeat baby. this monster and like I said he is a monster yeah, folks are, huh? Greg Labatt is one of the most popular wrestlers in the IWA here notice that Joshua Hatmaker of 24 down and Tina's been warned I'm not sure why it's a no holds barred match it doesn't matter but it's just, it's just discretion respect the referee right here we go, they lock up these two titans. Back and forth. Greg Labatt throws him into the corner, knocks back the camera woman. Oh, he comes in full bore. Misses, oh, nice super good. But Craig Labatt, if he can get him, that might be it. One, two. That's a two count here, folks. Look at Hateful Reed, get right back up. Before Craig Labatt, after that super kick, and going for his patented suplex. Yes. Let's see if he follows it up and continues on here. That's like I said, this guy's a monster. You just got to keep on attacking, attacking, attacking. I know Craig knows that. No but how could you blame Craig? I mean, this is just... Oh, my God. He's setting him up for the end of his end of days maneuver. If he hits this, that could do it. We can have a new Colonel champion. The pin. One. Two. Oh, my God. Two. Robert Tini thought it was over, he's throwing in the belts. Two count. I almost thought it was over two, but not quite. Two and a very close three there. Almost a very close three, I should say. Craig Labatt circling the drain. If he can hit this second one. Oh, Craig Labatt gets out of it. We push it to a DDT. 
evens this match up right away. Call that the game changer of this match, foreshadowing. Oh my God, close with Robertina. Robertina doing somersaults outside the ring. Good God almighty. I don't know if Craig Labatt did that intentional, but nice chair shot to the back. Oh my God! He just hit Robert Tito with the chair. Oh, and a knee strike right to Hateful Reed's head. And the ref didn't see it. Not that it would matter. No DQ, but still. Oh, a low blow. Ref didn't see that one either. Craig Labatt, I guess it's even. He distracted the ref to hit Tito and he got a low blow out of it in response. Carver's a bitch. Hateful Reed set the, set, setting something demonic up here. I can feel it, folks. This is going to be sick. I'm not sure. Oh, no. Don't do it. Oh, my God. Curb stomp. Curb stomp. He's got the chair. Another chair shot to the head, to the upper back and head area. Good God almighty, this match. And Oh, my God. Don't do it. It's a DDT. This is some vicious shots. It's shades of WrestleFest 4 here when these two dissected each other. He ain't done with you yet. He wants a little bit more. And there was a lot of blood. He's going for that choke. Oh, God almighty. Hide your kids. This is getting sickening, folks. Absolutely sickening. Oh, my God. Right to his back. Right to his back. Oh, my God. Put his head in there. Don't do it. Don't do it. My God. Look away. God, God almighty, I can get him and watch this. Unbelievable, folks. Detroit's favorite son, Craig Labad. I don't know how he can walk away out of this one. He is getting demolished here, folks. He was not prepared for this match. Oh, my God. Throws him right into the ring. Right into that chair. A little unbelievable shot. The referee checking on him. Craig's not really come responsive on, come here. Come on. Come on. It's like the ref's gonna. Look, like the ref trying to give him some space here. I think he's gonna check on Craig the Bat and probably warranted at this point. I'm not sure if Craig's all right over there. What's going on here, ref? We're not sure if so maybe something's going on. Craig might be hurt here, folks. Oh, it looks like he's. Oh my God, Craig's busted open. That's the, Craig's been busted open before. He might be all right, but he might have some blood coming out of his mouth there. I can't get a good look. Back suplex onto the apron. Oh, there, there's some blood coming out of Craig's mouth right now, folks. He's coughing up blood. The ref going to have to check on him here. Come on. He still wants more. He's still breathing. He is still breathing, but I'm not sure... How safe it is to be coughing up blood and be fighting a match. Yeah, hey, for Ray Watson. There you go. Craig's back up. Craig. Looks like Craig's all right. Oh, my God. What a nice rated right shot to the face. That sickening thug. Oh, a super kick. Turns a super kick to even the odds. And Craig the Bat, is it back in this Come match, on. blood or not? He's Come still on. in this match. Yeah. What kind of heart does Craig the Bat have here? What kind of stamina do these guys have? Oh my God, nice chair shot apron there. Gonna throw him right back in the ring. Craig gonna try to end this match in the ring. Probably a better bet for him. Craig a little wobbly, but still on his feet. Oh, another super kick. If he can somehow get a pinfall, that could do it, but I don't think so. Craig's exhausted. Yeah, no and again, Hateful Reed's getting up before Craig Labatt. And that's not a good sign if you're a Labatt fan. Oh, a leg drop. Hateful Reed now back in control. Largely unaffected. Hateful Reed. Uh, excuse me, Robert Tina says he's circling the drain. He's setting him up. Good God Almighty, if he hits this. And it's a taste, giving it, giving it his all. If he can only get that pinfall, this could do it. Come on, Reed, get on him. 
and he can't quite get it. He put a little too much on it. Might have hurt himself in the process. One, two. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Good God Almighty. What is Hateful Reed? What does Craig the Bat have to do to win this match? As Craig the Bat just fell out of the ring. You got nothing left, Craig. He's coming. He's coming. Yeah. Robert Tina talking trash to Craig. A little bit of a pep talk for you from Robert Tienan. One or two moves and you got him. Oh my God, Double X and he felt that from the top of his head to the soles of his feet. Good God almighty, what a kick. Oh my God, and another kick. Tell him to dissect him, what a sick choice of words. Hateful Reed piling those chairs up much like he did. At WrestleFest 4, Shades of the Main Event. But I think he ended up getting thrown down off the top of the barrier on top of a bunch of chairs. He's smashing his face right in the chairs. And Robert Tina loves it. Laughing in the background. And oh my God, Craig spitting up some blood. He just spits him on the ref there, folks. This isn't good. The ref's going to have to check him here. I'm fine. need help. Oh my god, double X, folks, this is not good. That's We're gonna get a doctor out here soon here. This might be the end of this match, folks. Let's see. Good God almighty. Thoughts and prayers with Craig right now. He's he's coughing up blood. He says he's good to go. I'm not so sure, folks. I mean, when you're coughing up blood, how can you continue a match? This match it might end, but he shouldn't lose his belt. Usually you don't lose a belt as a medical stoppage, but you know, Craig says he's all right. He might be all right. We'll see what the doctor has to say here. All right, we're calling it. What? We're calling it. We have to stop. Ref, I'm fine. Oh my God, this match has been stopped, folks. Good, doctor. Fine. Ambulance. Craig Labatt can no longer compete in this match. I'm fine. Therefore, you're Good God Almighty! Such what a turn of events. Hateful Reed is your new IWA Intercontinental Champion doing a medical stoppage. I've now, I gotta check the rule book here. I've never heard of such a, this, the title being changed on a medical stoppage, but I guess so. Let's see if we get a word with Robert Keen in here. I guess Todd Dale here, man. Todd Dale's gonna give an interview. And what a loss for Craig the Bad here. That's just an unbelievable turn of events. This doesn't seem fair. But here we go. Beer on the job? It's been a long day. Uh, Robert, um, what did you think of the stoppage of the match and the new IC champion, your client, Hateful Reed? Um, I wish the match could have gone longer so my client could have beat his ass a little bit more, but he has a family, um, so I understand that. Does he have a family? I don't know. I don't know either. Now, what is next for the Bad Luck Club? Well, it's funny you should mention that, thank you. Um, it's funny you should mention okay. that. Um, I forgot to mention earlier, sorry, Craig. Ugh. Should have mentioned this earlier, but um, Phil McMahon not only did give my client Hateful Reed the Intercontinental title shot, but he gave one of my other clients a title shot at the Hardcore title. Phil McMahon said to me, "Is it could happen anytime, any place." Prince Hector, get on out here! Oh my God! What a turn of! I can't believe this is happening. Actually, Craig the a medical stoppage, you know, to defend the Hardcore title. This is completely unfair and despicable, if you ask me. But here we go, I guess a match is happening. This is unbelievable here. I don't know what kind of shot Craig LeBat has. I'm gonna go easy on him. Yeah, I brought a beer for you. Suck on that. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, my God, that vicious shot with a bat. And Prince Hector, I, I'm sorry to say, is despicable human being for going after Craig LeBat right after his match. Oh my God, a vicious shot. Right to the head with a beer can. That is sickening, folks. What a nice new client I have. Robert Tina should be ashamed of himself. What kind of backroom deal has he made here, folks? I want answers from Phil McMahon. Oh, come on! Oh. I'm now being told I can no longer comment on it, and I'm just supposed to call the match. So I'll call the match. Good God Almighty, this is unbelievable. Craig the Bat trying his all to stay involved in this match and start to keep this hardcore belt. For the premiere, a knee shot right to uh, Prince Hector's head, a little bit weaker than normal, but 
Oh, no, there we go. It's another shot. He's still got a little bit of fight left in him. Enough to take out this pipsqueak. Do this for your family. Prince Hector, known to fight for his family, but would you sell your soul for your family? What kind of good does it do it? This is unbelievable, folks. This is like turning your back on a on a floor and burning our flag and running in the enemy. Unbelievable, folks. So sickening. This is so sick. Sick and twisted and not a prank in any way whatsoever. This is unbelievable. Robert Tina enjoying every single moment of this, and I think this is sick, folks. I'm going to let you know my opinion as long as I'm able to do so. I have to take the mic from my dead cold hands. Yes. Oh, my God. A Prince Hector bomb in the apron. That's his finishing maneuver, folks. For those of you who forget, Craig Lebat hanging on by a thread. Robert Tina planning and scheming. Yeah. Come on, let me get a piece of him. I can get him. Celebrating. Yeah. Good God Almighty, that's confirmed. Sons of Darkness it, says it, hello. It, it. And that tells me Robert Tina has made a deal with the devil. He's made a deal with the Sons of Darkness. One, two, oh, five, the two count. Two. Robert Tina put his ugly little head in there. Come on, Craig. Craig Lebad hanging on here as much as he can. Craig Lebat's gonna give it his all yep. here. Let's see if we got one last on, surge here out of him. Craig Lebat with a kick. I think I know what Craig's gonna do. Let's see if he can nail it. He nails oh it! God. And if he can get the pinfall, he can hang on to the hardcore Tarna for the premiere and stick to the Sons of Darkness. And Robert Tienan is probably the Supreme yeah. Leader. One, two. Ooh, that's a two count, almost a three. Craig Lebat. But I think it's safe to say that Robert Teen, it's probably the supreme leader of this, the Sons of Darkness here, trying to take over the IWA, not another group. Come on, come on. Oh, oh and a nice kick. A counter super kick by Prince Hector. They're both down to the mat. Son of a bitch. Prince Hector's getting up. One more swing. You're done. He says, one more swing and he's done. Robert Tina says end him. Craig Lebat not getting up as quick here. I don't know how much Craig's got left in the tank unless he's playing possum. Come on, Craig. Well, Craig Lebat ducks out of the way. Doesn't duck the second shot. That's it, that's it. This could do it. One, two, and three. Winner. And we have a new hardcore champion, Prince Hector, folks. And Robert Tienan and the Bad Luck Club have three titles. With probably more to come. And if he's the leader of Sons of Darkness, then they have all four going for five titles. It's despicable. Prince Hector's back. He's now a Robert Tienan guy. I'm not sure if I approve. Club is back. That's three titles. He says only three, denying the connection between the two, obviously. And you got to give it to the former champion, Craig Labatt of the Premier. And what the Sons of Darkness has come tr said has come true so far. Craig Labatt has lost his title. Ryan Phillips has lost his title. And the premiere is on shaky ground. God, am I the only ref? Heading into the main event later on, and I hear Todd Dale's going to try to get a word with Craig right now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to do this, Craig. You lost the Intercontinental Championship. You've now lost a hardcore championship. How are you feeling? Back to you. Speechless. And so am I.
At least that talk went good with it. Yeah, I feel weird. really good about it. Yeah. You know what? I will say this though. It's rather cold out here. No, what? It yeah, too right. cold. You want to accept our challenge now? Huh? We're gonna keep on coming, and we're gonna keep on coming, and we're gonna keep on coming to accept our challenge, huh? Good night. Yeah. Nope, that's the locker room. I'm gonna go this oh, way. Oh shit. The walls are closing in as we speak. Their power drains with every match. Two have been cast down and stripped of everything they hold dear. Darkness is starting to set, and when it does, all will be revealed. Only one match can change your future. In one instant, in one moment, everything changes. It's WrestleFest 6. Five wrestlers look to do just that. The winner gets the ultimate prize. A shot at the world title. Anytime, any place. Game changer. Three. Now here we go, folks. Game Changer 3. A lot of the wrestlers have changed in this match. Derek Jack Devitt being one of them. Mean Mark Calloway. Uh, James Jarrett Ballard. Doc Anderson. And the Chain Gang member. This next match is so here we go. Game Changer match. To win this match, you must climb the ladder and grab the briefcase. Inside the briefcase is a contract for the IWA Heavyweight Championship. Introducing first, making his IWA WrestleFest return, Generic Jack Devitt! And here comes the first competitor in the Game Changer Mac, Generic Jack Devitt, making his WrestleFest return. Derek Jack Devin was in the first ever WrestleFest uh, Game Changer match, WrestleFest 2, in which he lost for El Toronto, which later on turned out to be Ryan Phillips. Derek Jack Devin is also the one that stuck up for Todd Dale, my friend, earlier in the night. And thoughts and prayers go out to Todd Dale and his wife Tammy, who are dealing with a family crisis. And uh, as we saw earlier, Todd is not handling it well. But anyway, here we go. Game Changer 3. Let's see who else is coming out next here. James Janitor. I've heard he's dropped the Ballard. I'm not so sure why. We'll have to find out why, I guess. I'm... Somebody wants to interview him about it. Still looking for his first victory in WrestleFest. Janitor John Janitor's son, a strange son, didn't find out he had, it was Janitor John Janitor's son until about two years ago. Introducing next, Philip Chainsaw Kelly! Just to finish that thought earlier, Michael Ballard hid the fact that James Janitor was the son of Janitor John Janitor. Here comes Philip Chainsaw Kelly. Going toe to toe with Janet Jack Devil. Let's not forget those two had a face to face about Todd Dale earlier. A scumbag. Introducing next, Mean Mark Calloway. Mean Mark Calloway, another uh, veteran of WrestleFest lore. This guy was in the original main event of WrestleFest 1. He ended up not winning that match. Flip seven. Now the bird 
and does it again. Not sure why he's got so much anger. Introducing next, one half of the Chang Gang. Chang Gang member number one, zero two five seven one. Good God Almighty, this guy's creepy. Not sure why he's in this match. The, the Chain Gang is part of the Sons of Darkness. I guess now we know why he's part of this match. He's in this match to win this match. And this guy is a no doubt creepy. That's without a doubt. I mean, just sends chills down your spine every time he looks at you. Unbelievable, folks. What kind of tricks does the Sons of Darkness have it's up their sleeve? My buddy Todd Dale, this match is for you, all right? You, want, you keep an eye on this one. I'm going to avenge you right there. Generic Jack Devitt promising to avenge Todd Dale at the very least in this match, and this match is underway. Which one of these guys is going to win the game changer? Screw him, he sucks. Ooh, a nice hit to the back. Keep in mind, the game changer has a... Inside that briefcase is a contract to the, to the title shot, to any title you want, any time, any place. So it's definitely something that could change your career. And as it, on the right hand side there, Changing member looks like he's talking to that skull bat. That used to be part of the death club, now he's talking to it. And he hits Jared Jack Devin right in the face with it. That is really bizarre, it seems like he's communicating with it. James Andrew Ballard knows better and just took off. It seems like he's getting into an argument with the skull now. Very odd. Oh, a super kick knocks him down. Oh my gosh, he stomps him. And he stomps that head too. I saw that. Maybe that's his strength. Oh, and he tells him to suck it on the right hand side of the screen. We got double action. Now we go back to single action here. Oh my god, that bat's coming up from the dead. Oh! A nice hit with the back to the ladder. Oh. Philip Chainsaw Kelly looking to climb. Oh my God, he stopped right in his progress by generic Jack Devitt. As the chain gang member goes off, still talking to that bat. Not sure why he was in this match, just a psychopath. And he finally gets rid of the bat now climbing. At least he knows to climb the ladder. These guys are all battling on top here. Ooh, eat brick right to the face is right. Knocks him right off that ladder. James Andrew Ballard now climbing. He's taking throw right off and thrown to the ground. His throw chase on Kevin now going up. Gonna climb. And now knocked over by the chain gang member. Says if you can't climb. Okay. Or I can't climb, you can't climb. It's been a long day, folks. Haven't seen this much action since I saw the movie 300, which was a couple weeks ago before that. WrestleFest 5. Pretty incredible matchup we got going on here, folks. The game changer match. The ladders are being set up by the chain gang member. Looks like he's a little off. Oh, and a nice hit on the top of his head by James Dander Ballard. Check it on him. Hits him down again. It's a smart idea. He gets him again and again. Another shot. What does it have to do to keep this guy down? Looks like he's down. James Jenner Ballard trying to jump and get it. That's not going to work. Oh, my God. Right into the ladders and down through. Generic Jack Devitt in a bad way was inches away from grabbing that game changer and all those momentum just stopped. And James Jenner Ballard with a vicious shot on Philip Chainsaw Kelly. Well, the chain gang member is just messing around with him, pretending he's helping him. And knocks him right to the ground. Seems like he's trying to chain game. Remember now trying to climb that ladder. And try to grab that briefcase. Oh, double axe handle on the top of his noggin. That was a harder shot than the orange throat of that security guard. That hit that wall. Oh my God, a shot to the back. Philip Chainsaw Kelly trying to stop. Generic Jack Devin and me, Mark Kelly. Now we got three guys on ladders. All trying to grab at that briefcase, trying to fight each other off. Now all four members, all grabbing for it, trying to grab it at the same time. Which one of these guys is gonna grab this briefcase? 
Good God Almighty, this is what this match is all about. It's moving around a lot. It's just in the grasp of Mimo Calloway, the generic Jack Jemmett. Is the last one up there? Oh my God, it's got clobbered. Another shot by James Jarrett or Ballard. Good God Almighty, the carnage in this match is going to cause me to lose my voice, folks. My dad, I'm a man. Shot. James Ballard says he's going to try to prove to his dad he's a man. Whoa. Whoa. Oh no. Whoa. He's doing the power and the strength. Carried him all the way over to the ring. Right to the side. And it turns his attention right back to that. Right back to that briefcase. Generic Jack Devitt is up and moving. Moving that ladder in position as well. You know, he's going to go for a climb as well. He's got it in his grasp. Oh, stop by Generic Jack Devitt. Another shot. Oh, thrown right down. Generic Jack Devitt is really close. If he just had the energy to grab it, he could be champion. Phil Chancellor Kelly getting hit from behind by me, Mark Calloway, stopping his ascent. Thrown off the ladder. Jarek Jack Devitt still up there, grabbing at that briefcase. He's got it in his hand. Me, Mark Calloway stops him. Throws him off. Generic Jack Devitt was so close there, folks. So close to having that briefcase unlocked and in his hands. Oh, God. A chair shot right to the face. Me and Mark Calloway climbing that ladder, trying to grace. Oh, had it in his hand. Oh, just got hit with the ladder. Gets knocked off the ladder. Generic Jack Devitt. Oh, my God. A choke slam in the background here. Through the table. Good God Almighty, the Sons of Darkness member Chang Gang member 05271. What a choke slam. And Philip Chainsaw Kelly's definitely going to be out of this match. You're welcome, Todd Dale. About the only good thing Sons of Darkness has done all night. Oh my God, there you go. Throw him into the chairs. Good God Almighty. Let's see him get up from that. That sickening thud. James Jenner Ballard. Getting attacked by generic Jack Devitt. And he is down for the count. Oh, ducks it. Oh, hits him right in the back. Generic Jack Devitt. Seems to be the only guy up. Is this going to be the end of the match here? Generic Jack Devitt climbing. None of the other wrestlers are stirring. He has a moment here. Oh, the Chief Center Ballard kicks the last minute. He has the briefcase in his hand. He has it in his hand. Get it, got it, got it. Genera Jack Javit is the Game Changer winner! In his triumphant return, gone for an entire WrestleFest to come back and win the Game Changer. What an incredible moment. And some people can't help to think if Scorpion was in this match, could have been differently. If this person was in this match, could have been differently. I don't know, folks. But the guys that were here were here. A generic Jack Devitt is your new Game Changer winner. What a WrestleFest 6, folks. And what an unbelievable moment! As these guys gave it all, they're all out there, folks. You can't take that away from them. And now we go out back. All right, man. Yeah. They've been after us all f***ing day. All right, I go to the bathroom. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're going to watch for I got me, you, right? I got you. Don't worry, don't worry. Right. I don't... Nothing's going to happen to us. Hold my title for Oh, yeah. Let me get that thing dirty. Just I got you. Let me know if you see anything. All, all right. right. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Oh, man. Wow, that was. Oh. What? A Surprise! What? The <laughs> 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 Man, that seems a bit rough, man. You yeah, should, uh, you should probably work on that fiber. I don't know. Yeah, it's, just, yeah. it's a really, really, really yeah. big one. Okay, all right, all right. I think he said yes. Alright, let's go. You sure you're all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Oh, he's perfectly all right. Give us that shot, huh? You gotta give us that shot, you bitch! Come on, let's go! All right, folks, final battle, Janitor John Janitor versus an unknown opponent. There's a lot of story that goes behind this match, and we're about to hear about it right now. This next matchup is a final battle match. Introducing first, the challenger, being accompanied down to the ring by Michael Ballard, born in the fires of Caterno. Your favorite janitor, janitor, John, janitor. Here's janitor, John, janitor. On, janitor, John, janitor. Coming to get revenge. They say he's coming to get revenge. All right. Here's Michael Ballard. It's a weird scene seeing Michael Ballard with JJJ. Let's see what he's gonna say. As many people already know, my name is Janitor, John, janitor. Three months ago, we were both sent a spark plug in the mail. And a spark plug in the mail by the biker world is uh, some sort of a message that you want to meet and have a parlay. Well, anyway, long story short, we both get sent this spark plug. We show up, we both end up in a hospital with comas. We were poisoned. So we come here to fight our, to fight other people that come to kill us, we come to kill them. So I don't know who you are, who you think you are. You need to get out here and get your beaten. Come on, show yourself, you monster. We got, we got, come on. Come on. Second of all, yes, my name is Mike Runnels, and, and I just want to say he paid me to do it. It was him. He's the one that made me whoa, do whoa, all whoa, this. Whoa, so, whoa, 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 what's going on? And listen, you, I'm just telling no. you, come on, man, no. Never. You hired him to kill me. No. And you poisoned yourself to make it look no, like you didn't poison me. me. He's the mastermind behind it all. I'm telling you, he hired me. Please don't kill me again. You have a history of poisoning me. That was an accident, all right? This is because of my son. You try to take I, my son, you know he's my son. No. Not your son. No. I thought we had an agreement. We didn't have an agreement. Agreement's over. You just try to you just try to kill me. So it's oh, so it's not every other weekend now? Let's not forget folks, these guys have a history. Oh, I definitely know. And this is now turned and they're fighting each other! The ballot gets a couple shots and hits him with that rack and knocks him John down! And Ballard is taken off around the corner. I can't see where he is. I'm only going to be able to call the action I can see, folks. And Janitor John Janitor takes off after him. Where are you, Ballard? Son of a bitch. Ah! Oh! 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 John. 
This is where it ends, Ballad. Oh shit! Uh, you like that Ballad, huh? Uh, your back's broken now, you bitch. Uh, it's been a long time coming. I've been telling Ballad. For years and years. Stop messing with me. He messed with my family, he, he hid a son from me. Fucking son! Son of a bitch. And this guy tries to kill me? I don't think so. Janet or John Janet is much smarter than that, believe me, brother. You know? I can't believe that I just uh you know beat him that easily. It's just pretty simple, really. Oh, like I like I said, I knew this was gonna happen. He's just a pushover. Oh, son of a bitch. Goddamn, been dealing with this guy 20 years. He steals my son. He stole my shirt that one time. This, oh, I love that shirt. What? You know what? I, I don't feel bad. I don't feel bad at all. He wants to ruin my life. I'm gonna ruin his. Get out of my fucking kid. Wait, no, no. I, I like I like it. You know what? I'm glad I, I don't try to kill him. Glad. Let me ask this guy. Get out of here. Hey, uh, hey, buddy. Hey, uh, just want to know, uh, how do we get out of here? What's the main road to get out of here? You're not going oh, anywhere, shit. brother. Oh, oh shit! I can't believe it. My tattoo sleeves? Oh, son of a bitch. I should have saved that receipt. Those are gone. Oh, just add that to the list. Oh, this fucking guy. Oh, look what we have here. Ooh. Okay, all right. Fuck yeah. Hey, sweet little thing here. 
Hey yeah. there. Are you looking to give me a ride? Yeah, looking maybe a good time too. You know, good, uh, you know, 15, 20 minutes, you know? 15, 20 minutes? What kind of what? girl do you think I am? I'm just looking for a ride, what? not a good time or a mediocre time. Get over yourself, all right? Listen, you know what? I'll take the next ride. Yeah. Good luck. I'm in the back seat, Ballad. Oh, right here, shit. Ballad. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. This is your doom, Ballad. Oh. This is your end, brother. Come on, man. Yeah, go ahead, slow down. Slow down so I catch up, you bitch. Ah! Out for one if you think any of the shops are open now. All right, you let me have it and bank it and pay you when he comes back. You don't think he will come back after you've discharged him. Will you please give me that tie? A manservant isn't what you need. Give me that tie, Alan. What did you drag yes, me into? You'll with the magic get away from me anyway. Oh my God. What? Di dinosaurs? <laughs> Oh man, how did I get a marathon? I swear to God, I hope this is a 5K. Jesus, oh, it's more than a 5K. It's a oh, five geez, life. I'm out. Oh, oh, so you're oh. fucking doing it. This is close. Please go in the uncle, please.
I've had oh, me, two spy. boyfriends uh, close to my uh, life. Uh, I currently yeah, got on, legally uh, married. Uh, Thank God. God. It's finally yeah, legal in America. It. Uh, I had some kinky uh, sex. Uh, uh, I have tried drugs uh, through the uh, younger years of uh, my uh, life. Uh, I am broken. Uh, Son of a bitch! You son of a bitch! Oh my god, leave for the eye trick! Not again! Oh my god, I fell for it! is getting too crazy, man. Hey, how about we share them? You know? Share you custody of the son? 50-50, 60-40, whatever, whatever. We can't keep doing this, man. You, you want a truce? Think? All, all the son now, you want a truce. You want I was to ready to cut that You want to keep doing this every... You've already cut like 30% of it, bro. Yeah, that's right. You see this bald spot right here? It hasn't grown back. No! That's right. Oh, right. And no, I'm gonna keep on get... coming back. No, 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 that's no, a weak spot it. for me. How dare you bring that out? There's no truce, brother. Come on. You're Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. This is unbelievable. Come on. This is not what I expected. Come on. Bring it in. Come on. All so, we've so been through. So, so you're saying? So you're saying you just all the times you try to kill me? Doesn't that's matter. Water, water under, under the, the bridge. bridge. Oh, see. It's all right. You all know right. what? Yeah, all right, there we go, good. there we go. This is, no, I didn't expect this, this uh, is pretty... <laughs> <laughs> Am I, this, is this heaven? No, brother. Who's You're alive. It's yourself. You're losing consciousness. Oh, okay. okay, so I'm not dead. All right, well, that makes sense. Any advice? I mean, if I got to, after I get up here, I mean, this guy just stabbed me. I mean, I'm, I'm losing consciousness. I'm, I'm hearing now. Well, brother, you need Any to advice? cauterize that wound. You need uh -huh. to get your ass up, and you need to finish this fight. Pretty simple. That's what I thought. I mean, that's what I was going to do. All right, send me back. Ah, 
Trust you later. Uh, I gotta cauterize this wound, brother. You gotta get it back. You gotta get back. Uh, uh, ah! oh, all right, all right, I think I'm good. Yeah, you gotta try harder than that to kill Jenna, John Jenna. Oh, he's fucking left. I gotta get back to the car. Oh, yeah, it's all right. I, I can't believe I got out of it. Keep it up front. I got you by your hand. Oh, where are you going? Oh, oh crap. You see this, oh, This oh. is your end. Oh. Ah. Oh. I have won! How you doing there, Tommy? Mr. McMahon, how are you? I'm pretty good. I just wanted to let you know, with all the bullshit going on, that I'm going to be the referee in this match. I can see that. There's not going to be any fucking horseplay. You're going to referee the match? I'm going to referee this match. I'm give you my honor that the right man will win this match. And hopefully, it's you. Appreciate that, Phil. All right. Good luck out there. Just stay the hell out of my way. You, you just play by the rules, I'll stay out of your way. Phil vs. Alex. And here comes the instigator of this whole stand, Phil. God almighty! Up top, I don't know. Oh, nice oh, and he throws oh, him right oh, over! Here we go. I should do it again, Phil with a knee! Yes. Right to the fit. Oh, oh, Phil goes for the submission box. Oh, and that's it, that's it, that's it! Oh my god! If this one it might be the one axle right! Will be. Oh, Get some picks them up for a power bomb, throws them down, this could do it folks! This could do it, Phil goes for the pin! One, two, one, two three, and Phil has done it and won! If you have not seen a brother versus brother match in the IWA, folks, you're in for a real treat. Phil versus Alex, brother versus brother. These matches are brutal and quite honestly uncomfortable. This next match is no holds barred. If the kids are still awake, no disqualification. It's your brother choice. Brother versus brother. Introducing first, the first brother. For those of you not familiar with Alex, Alex has yet to beat his brother. So up is 2-0 versus Alex. Alex is looking for his first victory versus brother. In previous WrestleFest, he was a little cocky, arrogant. Let's see how he is this year. All right. How are you? Listen, Alex, I know this is a uh, third year in a row now. We got brother versus brother, Phil versus Al. What are your thoughts going into this match? I don't have many thoughts at all. You know, I don't even know if he's here today. Okay. You know, it's been a rough road, but you know, two and zero, oh, whatever. It's about to go on. 
So deal. he's making a lot of claims about how he is 2-0 and, and how he's about to go 3-0. and Do you got anything to say to that? I'm going to do everything I can, hell or high water, to win this match. I don't care if I have to be carted out on a stretcher. Well, I mean, you, you heard it here first. We got a... Uh, Even though we don't have a stretcher. Well... Whatever. I, I wish you the best. You know, you, you've been, had a little bit of bad luck with him, but, you know, it's another year. It's another all good. Year. It's and, all good. Uh, He's been juicing for the last few years. Introducing so. next, uh, here we the other brother, Phil! And here comes Phil down to the ring here. Last year, he uh, sneak attacked Alex to start the match. And this year, he's and now I'm looking at the show. She feels to Alex Zero. A little cocky there. So she, the winds have gotten to Phil's head here. She seems to be very celebratory. The match hasn't even started yet. She has been smoking something there. I'm not sure what that was, but he's gotten rid of it here. And That's right. Glorious. That's right, I am glorious. 2-0. You know, there's something else, fans out there, I'd like to show you a secret. He's never beaten me in anything. Some chess, checkers, backgammon, basketball, baseball, foosball. I could go on and on all day. You never played foosball, you dumbass. Dodgeball, kickball, bowling balls, anything you want. But you know what, I'm 2-0. I don't even want to be here. I don't even need to be here. You know what? Here, check out the back of my shirt. You're going to love this. Phil 316. It stands for I just kicked Alex's ass. Very nice. Because that's all very I nice. do. Very nice. Yeah, yeah, very Sacrilegious. nice. Sacrilegious. There you go. There you go. Unbelievable. You know what? I don't, even, I, don't even want, I, have, I don't even know I'm here. I'm leaving. I'm hey, not even going to fight. You said it already. High piece of shit. Phil turns around and attacks his brother out with a super kick. How'd that feel, huh? Super kick to Alex right into his face. Alex gets some forearm shots right to his brother's face. Trying to take control of this match from the onset here. Rolls him into the ring. Oh, nice girdle. Huh? Oh. Alex was talking trash there. Get Phil now control. Does a seesaw. Throws him into the ring. In the corner, I should say. Phil right on top of him. It's an undershirt. Talking about some sort of undershirt. Not sure what he's talking about there. So anyway, he's choking the life out of Alex here. Oh, a nice kick by Alex to get him off. These guys are going out of here. Ooh! A nice kick to the side there. That comes with age, brother. You gotta learn to live with it. Oh, you smell like Alabama Kush. Alex talking some trash to his brother. Not sure if that's appropriate in this match. Anyway, oh, throws Alex hard into the corner there. Do a smash by Phil. A little stinger splash style. Looks like Phil's got thinking about maybe jumping down on Alex there, but Alex clears the ring and gets out of the way. Probably a smart idea by him. Try to regain his thoughts and try to figure out how to get back on top of this match. Where's he at? Huh? We've got a breath already. Where's he going? And Alex has taken off. I'm not sure. He's off camera, folks. I'm not sure where he is. Phil going to the weapon bucket. Probably not a bad idea. Alex, I'm sure, is probably doing the same. I'm not sure where he is. Bill turns around. He says he's done. This is a quite the end to a Phil versus Alex 3. I'm the one supposed to be leaving. What's going on here? I don't know either, ref. I'm not so sure what's happening here. Looks like Alex has just left the building. I'm not so sure. Why he's done this? Oh my God! Out of nowhere, Alex just cracked his brother like a bat out of hell. Right over the top of the head, some right hand, right hand shots here. Another one. Looks like he's trying to set him up for something here, folks. Bill blocks it. Doesn't block it a second. Rock right bottom, right onto that table. That sickening thud. That sounded like it hurt, folks. Alex goes to the pin. One, two. two. A two count. And these brothers are going back and forth here. Oh, Alex looking to choke him out here. These mashes just get vicious and more vicious here. As Alex pulls out a hammer. Oh my. 
Oh my God, folks. Oh my God. Did you hear that crack? Yeah. He must have broke his finger, folks. Bad, huh? God. Oh my God, he's got to do it again, no. folks. No. Oh my God. Did you hear that, folks? Our audio was able to pick up another bone crack. That's at least two broken fingers here. Spoke too soon, huh? And the way Phil's reacting, it definitely sounds in, like it's two broken fingers here. That's just... These matches bring out the most honestly, most brutal parts of this industry here. Now it sets him up! What a nice DDT and Phil's just lifeless body just drags over top. And Alex firmly in control of this match. Let's see if he can finish off Phil and finally beat Phil once and for all. Something tells me this rivalry's not going to end at this match, but maybe it could. You know, maybe Phil could uh, uh, gain the res right, Alex again respect Let's to Phil stuck. here. Alex said he's just getting started. That's not a good sign for Phil. Phil is not moving much, and that's not a good sign for Phil at all. Here comes Alex with a ladder. Shades of last year. Looking to hit Phil with that ladder, I think, in here. He's gassed already. Oh, I ain't done yet. Oh, a shot right to the face. That sickening thud to Phil's face there. Unbelievable shot. He says he's not done. He might be done here. One, two. two. That's a two count. Phil's still in this match. And Phil is talking about his fingers. They're obviously still in a lot of pain here. I mean, he got hit with a hammer, both two different fingers. I mean, that's just, that, that puts some people on the sidelines. But the, the, the couple people in the crowd here, family members are asking for mercy. And Alex is setting up something here. That's not going to bode well for Phil if Phil goes through this here. Phil is stirring in the background over there. Phil with a nice chair shot to Alex's head. He doesn't have much energy. See if he can get another one on him here. Oh, nice shot. Nice shot to kind of even the odds here to kind of... Get him back into this match. Let's see if Phil can recover here. Looks like he's lost a lot of energy. Here we go. He's trying to get back in this match. He's going to pick up his brother for pile driver. Oh, my God. That sickening thud. Do you hear the sickening thud? I haven't heard a thug like that since Peep knocked into that pole back in VSCC. Good God almighty. He must have been bleeding eternally after that one. Oh, Phil's got him set up here for something. Phil jumps through, face smash right on the, on the table, I mean, on that chair, on the ladders there. Good God Almighty, that sickening thud. I know I said it once, I said it again. This match is brutal, folks. Maybe the kid should be in bed at this point. Good God Almighty. Sickening thud. But Phil is back in this match and he's climbing that ladder. He's got some nefarious plans here. Not sure what he's doing. Jumps down, Alex, elbow drop! Shades of Shawn Michaels and Macho Man Randy Savage and elbow drop, and Phil's hurt after that thud. One, two, oh my God! And that close to Phil being 3-0. and oh. And it looks like Phil's after hurt after that jump down and elbow drop. Looks like it hurt his ribs there. But Phil looks like he's in control of this match, going to that bucket of weapons. Seems like he's got a cane. Wraps around Alex's neck. Oh, into a knee strike. What an incredible maneuver that was. And here is Phil now in control of this match, probably for the one of the first times, really. Fully in control. Oh, and just as I say that, Phil strikes back with a right-hand hit. On Alex, and he grabs a chair. You know what's going to happen here, folks. He's going to use it. Oh, Phil ducks below. Oh, a low blow on Alex. Oh. 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 
Comes close on one of my picks him up. Oh my god, a sidewalk slam style maneuver on those chairs. Bill picks him up again. Looks like he's gonna do it again. Oh good god almighty, those vicious thuds. And Alex is back hitting those chairs. And Phil, if he can get up and get control, more control of this match, he can try to put Alex away here. He's got that chair up. He looks like he's going to get something here. Looks like he's setting up two chairs and back side to side here. Smashes Alex's face right down on it. Ooh, Alex returns the favor and Phil falls back. These two brothers are giving it their all here, folks. For those of you who haven't seen these matches, these are matches are brutal. And they are a lot like this. Highly entertaining. No. Often not repeated. Oh, my God. I had to suck the life right out of him. My God, is there any end to the, the stakes that these guys are willing to go in this match to win? Alex puts him down on the apron. Looks like he's going to try to climb that ladder or maybe try to jump down on him with some sort, some of, sort of aerial assault. We'll see what Alex can come up with here. That ladder is very unsteady. That was in the game changer. The ref now holding it. Jumps down on Oh, a nice punch to south forearm right to the chest of Phil. I don't know if that's enough to end it here. Alex thought about doing something else. Goes to the pin. One, two. And maybe if he would have pinned Phil right away, that could have been it. But as it stands right now, that's only a two count, and this match continues on. These guys are now, oof. Oof, Phil with a short forearm shot. Alex with a punch back. These guys are giving it their all. Phil another forearm shot. Knocks Alex back. Phil hurt his own elbow with that strike with the, how hard he hit him there. Alex doesn't seem to be doing well over there. Phil now taking that protective padding. It looks like he wants to give a strike. Alex is coughing up blood here. Oh my gosh, that sickening thud. That's Phil's forearm hit Alex's face just in case you didn't know. Good God almighty, these mismatches, just unbelievable folks. Phil strikes back with the left. Oh, Alex with a chop right to the Phil's chest. Knocks him back down onto his knees. Phil chops back. Alex chops back in return. And wins the chopping exchange. And a series of chair shots. Good God almighty. The agent goes to the quick pin. One, two, oh. And almost a three count. Alex is frustrated. What does he have to do to beat him? He's saying in his head. All wrestlers have been there. And in every match, there's a moment that turns it to one guy or the other. And which moment is that going to be in this match? And something tells me it's going to be close. These two guys, these two brothers have given it their all here. Brother versus brother three. Does Alex have what it takes to finally overcome his brother? Alex sets him up, rock bottom! Good God, goes to pin one, two! Oh. I thought Alex might have had him there. Phil desperately trying to gain some, some air here. Trying to make some sort of comeback. Alex's head is swirling with an idea here, I think. He's put that chair down on the ground. I know he's got some sort of idea. Phil goes to the punch. Spins around. Alex, no way! He's a rock bottom right on the ground! Oh my god, that's on one, two, three! And Alex has done the impossible! And has beaten his older brother for the first time in his life! Congratulations to Alex, but congratulations to both of these guys who gave it their all. And one of the best performances in WrestleFest history. Some might say one of the best matches in WrestleFest history. I will be the judge, you tell us.
Alex getting some of that blood that was left over there that Phil had blood out of his own head and put a one where that zero goes to be. Two to one! Phil still has the advantage, but Alex has finally beaten his brother. And I'm being told we're going to get an exclusive interview with Alex right now. After this match, and Braden Daniels is making his way out there to talk to Alex to see what he can says about this match and this victory for him and what it means Alex, to him. Looks like you, you went through hell in this, in this match here. Told you I would. And, and, and you finally came out victor. You can no longer say that, that he's beaten you every single time. How do you feel after this match? Well, he's a liar. I've beat him before, uh, just never on camera. Uh, I got nothing but love and respect for him. You go in there, you fight. Sorry. I'm you're good. Dying. You're good. You're good. You go in there, you fight. And uh, the other day, you still brothers. Oh my God! Phil out of nowhere with a chair shot. Kicks him. Picks him up. Power ball right through the table. Good God Almighty. Looks like this rivalry's not over, folks. Good God we need Almighty. some help out here. We need some help. And Phil is laughing, folks. <laughs> Unbelievably sick. Back to you, Todd Dale. What's going on, Craig? Listen, this, this whole thing has just turned to shit, right? Everything that's gone on, fucking lost the belts, everything. But listen, at the end of the day, pissed off as I am, I want to let you know, I'm going to be there, I'm going to do whatever I can to help tonight, make sure that this stays with the plan. I'm going to beat that dead man's ass. I'll end it tonight. Don't you worry about it. Or the IWA Heavyweight Championship main event of WrestleFest 5. And here we go. From behind! Germany's two, and enough is in Dentist mind with a first your fifth one if he can get it. The fifth trip's over. <laughs> Dodge tour Tanner goes for a suplex and he nails it. And he maybe he's gonna hit it. He hits it. That's two in a row. Uh, April Reed blocks it. Blocks it again. April Reed picks up Tanner John Tanner and suplexes him. <laughs> Tommy got hit him from behind! With the game change of briefcase on my cup! He goes for DDT, center, oh no, come on! Gets him over a suplex, no way! Oh my god! Oh my god! Which one of these three guys is going to be the IWA Heavyweight Champion? There can only be one, as they're all fighting and punching each other, giving it their all. Folks, April Rico's running, they throw him right out of the ring! Top of he kicks him, stuns him, is that it? Is that it? Three, and oh my god, we have a new YWA Heavyweight Champion and his name is Tommy Gunn! Oh my god, Tommy Gunn's music is stock, folks. Here it's Tommy Gunn's friends, Greg LeBan and Ryan Phillips, the premier. The premier is here! And on top of the IWA. And, oh my god. I don't believe it. I can't believe The chosen one is here. This October, the IWA Heavyweight Champion Tommy Gunn takes on a new challenger. The Chosen One, Jason Kelly. For the IWA Heavyweight Championship. Gun. Darkness is about to fall, and the end of all things. 
To kill a serpent, you crush its head. To destroy a gun, you disable it. The end is near. Go forth and do what you were born to do. Have no mercy. Show no fear. End the premiere. Champ, we're here, WrestleFest 6, the main event. It's finally finally upon us. We got you, Jason Kelly. The Sons of Darkness have been uh, doing things all day, you know, and I know Pain in my ass. I know you personally have had to deal with them, you guys on the premiere, and, and what do you th what are your thoughts going on into this match here? First of all, where the hell's Todd Dale? Uh, Todd Todd had to be sent home, uh, he couldn't control his drinking enough yeah, and poor things guy. got out of hand. I've been there. Rough day for him. I ain't got nothing to say about those pieces of trash. I've been running roughshod over this organization all goddamn day. I'm the champ. I've been the first ever IWA champ, and I certainly as hell won't be the last. That piece of trash can put a $5 mask on from Spirit Halloween, get his goons out here, light some torches, and do whatever the hell he wants. At the end of the day, he's still going to go through Tommy Gunn. That's all I got to say about it. We done? All right, you heard Thank it here you. first. Good match out there. Uh, Braden Daniels, we'll head to ringside now. Moment we've been all waiting for, folks. Right. The IWA Heavyweight Championship. Special guest referee, Phil McMahon. Tommy Gunn's going off against Jason Kelly of the Sons of Darkness. Tommy Gunn with the premiere. This next match is the main event for the IWA Heavyweight Championship. Introducing first the champion, the last outlaw, Tommy Gunn! Here comes the IWA Heavyweight Champion, Tommy Gunn, who definitely has the deck stacked against him. That's for sure. The Sons of Darkness are gunning for him. And I'm not so sure that he's going to walk away with his belt. He's going to try everything in his power to do that. But here comes the challenger. And what do we have here? We got two guys with torches. Sons of Darkness members leading the way for the chosen one, Jason Kelly. And what an ominous start to this match. Jason Kelly joined the Sons of Darkness last year. He is the Sons of Darkness chosen one as he's touted around. The one that's going to defeat the premiere finally for good. In their words... And take back this belt for themselves. You always wonder what's going through wrestlers' heads right before a main event like this, a huge match. And by the way, this is the main event. I've already said it once, I'm going to say it again. This has been an incredible wrestle fest. Despite there being a pandemic, we have put on a great show for you folks. And this is all for the fans. We may not have had any fans here. The cold exchange between McMahon and Tommy Gunn here. This match is for the World IWA World Heavyweight Championship. I want a good, clean fight. I will warn you once, the second time, you get disqualified. Everyone understand? I'm going to check you, and then the match will start. Phil McMahon doing anything by the book here, as he should. It's a big match. Phil McMahon wanted to make sure that this match was 100% clean and there would be a, a, a clean winner in this match for obvious reasons how Russell has gone this entire night with the Sons of Darkness just kind of plying their way all across this pay-per-view here. Let's get this match go. And here we go, main event of WrestleFest 6. Sizing each other up. Here we go, folks. And they tie up. Whoa, well, Tommy got thrown oh, right oh. out of the ring by Jason Kelly. What an impressive start to this match. You both get back in here. Jason kicking Tommy Gunn very quickly here. Quick successions. Oh. Phil McMahon calling this match tight. All right. 
There's a 20 count before, uh, on the outside before you're uh, disqualified. Jason Kelly throws him in the corner. A bunch of right-handed strikes on Tommy Gunn. Tommy Gunn, the champion, not doing good. Billy Mance backs him up. That's five. Playing up straight down the middle, which is what you want to see here. It's a big match. We don't want any Tom Fuller right here in a WrestleFest main event. Nice suplex by Jason Kelly at Tommy Gunn. Jason Kelly has shown why he's the number one contender here. With some impressive moves back to back. One. That's a one count. And a one count, Jason Kelly. Jason Kelly firmly in control of this match here. Throws him into the ropes. Tommy Gunn on the other side. Oh, a big boot to Tommy Gunn's face. Tommy Gunn is reeling here in the first couple minutes of this match. Followed by a leg drop. What an impressive start by Jason One, Kelly. One, two, two. That's two. And that's a two that's count two on count. Jason Kelly here. On Tommy Gunn, All I right, should say. Tommy, did you quit, Tommy? No. Jason Kelly's got him in a headlock here. Doing the match, huh? Come on. Phil McMahon. You quit? No. Playing this match pretty down the middle here. No complaints. He's acting like a pretty good referee. Throws Jason into the ropes. Oh, Jason gets caught on the top here. Tommy Gunn knocks him right off and right over through. One. Tommy Gunn in the ring apron here. Nice forearm shot right to Jason Kelly's head. What a great maneuver that was. Tommy Gunn trying to gain some momentum in this match and trying to put a few moves together, trying to control this matchup a little bit better. Next DDT, tells Phil McMahon to shut up in the process. That's Tommy Gunn. Tommy Gunn probably doesn't have to be this rude to McMahon here. He's going to be careful. Both these guys are going to be careful. McMahon said he's going to warn them once and then he's going to disqualify them. Come on, guys. Get in the ring. Now, Phil McMahon following them, being a little lenient here. Come on. Oh, Jason Kelly doing one of his patented maneuvers here. Oh, my gosh. What a little shot on his back. And Jason Kelly showing why he's the number one contender here. Come on. Phil McMahon being, like I said, be very lenient with the counting here. Probably could have counted both these guys out, but he knows he wants to have a good match. And he'd much rather just get them back in the oh, ring as they do. That again. You're disqualified. Get in the ring. Phil McMahon giving a first warning to Jason Kelly here. Goes to the pin. McMahon trying to get back in the ring. One. Two. two. Ooh. Tommy two. Gunn with a two count. That was a really close three. Tommy Gunn gasping for air there. Oh, oh my God, grabs him to the chokes. Oh, a super kick. Tommy Gunn One. responds with a super kick. Two. Bill McMahon gonna count him. It's a 10 count if they don't both don't get up here. It'd be a draw if both of them get up. Here we go. Tommy Gunn throws him into the ropes. Jason Kelly caught again. Ooh, a spine buster. Looks like Tommy Gunn couldn't get him all the way up there. Oh, oh he's going for a choke. He's going for the choke. Wait, Tommy Gunn. Jason Kelly's going out of the choke. Tommy Wait, Gunn. Uh, Tommy Gunn is close there. Very close. Jason Kelly uh, makes all the guy Tommy. submitted. He poked him right in the eye. It's a in the eye. So your first warning. Tommy Gunn now has a first warning. they got to be careful here. Both guys have been warned once. Tommy Gunn with a stunner! Is that gonna be it? One! And a one count on a stunner! Good God almighty, I can't believe it! Just a one count, Jason Kelly sits up! Tommy Gunn throws him out of the ring! Tommy Gunn looks like he's trying to get some air. They might have been out of desperation here. Looks like quarantine has not been good to some of the wrestlers. Stay there! Neither one of these guys are moving. They're giving it their all here. Phil McMahon counting a three or four count. He's got up to a five count here. Jason Kelly's still not moving here. On the outside, he's gonna get up. He's gonna get back in before a 10 count. Here he comes back in, Tommy Gunn. Gonna get back right on him. 
And Tommy Gun throws him out again! Come on! Jason Kelly's on the outskirts here. Two! And this is good strategy by Tommy Gun. Tommy Gun, get back in here! Oh, Tommy Gun's leaving. Leaving the ring. One! Restarting the count. Two. Jason Kelly's not sure where he is. I don't think he knows where he is. Three! Tommy Gun! Oh, goes to the stunner. Blocked. Choke slam on the apron! Good God Almighty! Tommy got just got choke slam right in the apron. If Jason Kelly can get a pinfall right in the ring, we'll see if he can get a pinfall. At one, two, ooh, and That's a kick right. out. This matchup is everything it's we built it up to be in there, and that's so much more. Both these guys give it their own stunner! Stunner by Tommy Gunn! This is what he is! One, two! two. That's two! That's a two count. That was so close there, folks. Tommy Gunn was that close to retaining this championship. Which one of these two guys, Sons of Darkness, Premier? The Premier is barely hanging on to their power here. They have one belt left. The Sons of Darkness, Lord knows how many they really have. Clean it up! Oh, Phil McMahon just got struck back by Tommy. I'm sure it was an accident. A huge choke slam on Tommy Gunn! by Jason Kelly. That could have ended it, but the ref's down. Phil McMahon has been knocked down here by Tommy Gunn. Like I said, incidentally, I don't think he did that on purpose, folks. But Jason Kelly is going to take advantage of this situation. Looks like he's going out on the outside getting a chair. He's going to get chair. Phil McMahon still down. Tommy Gunn starting to stir here. This is not bode well for Tommy. Tommy Gunn trying to grab that chair. Jason Kelly now has it. Oh, hits, hits him right in the back. See, he's going to hit him again in the back. Philip McMahon does not see any of this. He's still trying to come to over there. Good God Almighty, he's trying to set him up for the tombstone on the chair! Good God Almighty, this isn't fair, he's going for the pinfall! Phil McMahon now coming to! It can't end this way, can it? One! Please say it so! Two! Somehow Tommy Gunn! That's two! Thank God Tommy Gunn somehow survives his Sons of Darkness evil plans here! Jason Kelly getting rid of the evidence. Phil McMahon starting to, to come back to here. How much does Tommy Gunn have left after that onslaught? It's both these guys trying to get back to their feet. Jason Kelly going for the choke Sam. Ooh, right hand hook. Right hand hook by Tommy. Ooh, left hand hook. Right hand hook. By Jason Kelly. Both these guys go toe to toe. Only one can be champion. Throws the Tommy into the ropes. Ducks the clothesline. Kicks. DDT. That somehow evens the odds here. One. Both guys down on the mat. Two. Both of these competitors, you got to give it to both of these guys. They're giving it their all here. Four. Each one of them deserving of winning the belt, in my opinion, Five. regardless of how you feel the Sons of Darkness. I have Six. yet to see any tomfoolery here. Seven. So if Jason wins this clean, I'm going to have to give him the proper respect he deserves. Come on, get up. Hey, but come both on, of these up. guys, here they go. Jason Kelly called for the end here. Picks up Tommy Gunn. Oh, Tommy Gunn gets out of it. Not this time. Tommy Gunn goes to the stunner. Stunts up. This could do it. Count. One, One two, two, three. What's going on here? Oh my oh, god. I'm not counting. Count. I'm not counting. What, 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 what do you mean? I'm not counting. What do you mean I can't call the other match? Come on, you want to hit me? I'm not going to stop calling the match. What do you mean? Don't call it. I, 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 I can't stop, believe what I'm saying. Stop. I'm being told not to stop, stop the call in the match here. Stop. Rolled up. Stop rolled up. One, two, three. That's, it, three. That's, that's, that's a fast count. That's, that's three. It. That's it. That's it. 
I don't understand what, what do you mean? What's going on here? I didn't really look at me. I'm, I'm, I'm unbelievable. I can't believe this. I'm just a lack of respect. Get him out of here. Get him out. Yeah. There he is. IWA heavyweight champion. Come on, get in here. All right, get in here. All right, you can come on music. Cut the music. Many people are here on... They're stunned. What's going on here? You haven't figured it out yet. What's, what's going on with... The 
end is here The game is over No more pretending